Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Uranium! We're still working our way through Route 8, so let's just go ahead and continue. We've got this guy right here. I think there was another trainer to the north we gotta check out as well. And this is a pretty big route, so it's gonna take quite a while to actually finish this one. I'm pretty sure we'll do it today, but it's not gonna be a super, super short one by any means. And Dexter looks to be pretty hurt. I actually didn't look at my Pokemon between episodes, so apparently I got really hurt last time. Well, let's go over to Trevor right here. I'll probably backtrack a little bit, go back and heal at the house. I was probably planning to do that. I'm guess I'm just trying to think back to yesterday what I was planning to do. And that was probably it. I probably planned on going back and healing before I started this episode, but... Eh, well, let's just go ahead and rock with what we got here. So this glass slug is level 28. I don't think we'll have too much problems. Yeah, there you go. One Dragon Claw takes the guy down. So let's see what kind of, uh... I was gonna say what kind of dialogue, I, I guess. Alright, let me go heal, guys. Oh, just got a phone call from Sir Goldcorn. Uh, he wants to battle... It's not that I don't want to battle with you, dude. It's just that I don't have an easy way to get back there. I don't even know if I can go back there at all right now, actually. I think we have to go this way. Did we fight her last time? No, we did not. All I do is train, train, train all day long. Help me do some training. All right, I'll do my best to help you out there, buddy. So let's see what she's got. Triathlete Brooke. She's got a Kinet Monk. Gosh dang Kinet Monk. Hopefully we can deal with this guy. Of course, I would have Dexter out against an electric and uh, normal type. But you know what? I'm going to be risky. I'm going to hope that he doesn't have an electric attack. And I'm just going to go for the side beam and see what happens. He's going for a double team, so I'll probably miss. You guys know how it is. Actually, whoa, we actually hit him. Wow. All right. And it does not quite half. And there you go. He's got Thundershock, so I should probably swap. Actually, I don't know, man. I think I might be able to survive unless my math is terrible or unless he gets a critical. I guess that would also suck, but I think we can survive. Yeah, we do. We got seven and we miss, of course. Wow. It's okay. Dunsparce has got this crud. And it turns out they actually have Spark, so I got very lucky, uh, lucky they didn't use that. I think Spark does more damage than, uh, than Thundershock does. And now he's got two double teams on him. This might be a little bit hard to hit him. No, we get lucky. We hit him just like that. Even though my takedown misses all the gosh dang time, even when I don't have any uh, double teams on my opponent. But that's going to be some great experience there for Dexter. And we've got Pelige coming out. So I think we're actually going to stay in with Dunsparce here and just go use Ancient Power since it's going to be four time weak to that crud. What do you think you're doing using Sunny Day? Come on, dude. You're just wasting time. I'm pretty sure this is going to one shot. Somehow it doesn't! Wow! Four times super effective. Okay. Four times super effective. Yes, it is true we don't have the same type of attack bonus to go with that, so... Maybe it makes sense. If it was four times super effective and same type, of, uh, same type of attack bonus, that'd be crazy. And somehow they're surviving this crud. They're gonna go for the flame burst right here. Actually, I gotta ask you guys. Does... When you do a four times super effective... Uh, it's basically, it's four times damage. If you add in the same type of attack bonus, does it become six times or does it become eight times? I'm not really sure how that works. But there we go, we got this crud defeated. Phew, you've got to tell me your training tips. I just kill things, that's all I do. Have we fought this guy? Okay, we have, so I think we're good to go here. Let me go talk to this thing. It's a Marie, right, of course. Well, let's keep going. Yes, we fought her, so I don't know exactly where we left off. I think we might have to go down this way. Let's go check it out. And we do have another trainer down here. I heard there were UFOs spotted around here, so I'm out on the look- Or, I'm on the lookout. What is it, like, crop circles and crud? So we've got Last Alice sending out Nymphlora. That's a new one! I think that's the fully evolved form of Cub Bug. I think that might be it. If it is a bug type, then I might get totally destroyed right here. So let's try Side Beam, see how it does. I don't remember if they're still bug type, but they got Draining Kiss. I guess that's gonna hurt a little bit there. But let's see how our attack does. Might be not very effective. No, it's neutral. And once again, Dexter seems to always do like just under half. There comes the struggle bug. That's gonna probably kill me, actually. Not quite. Wow, we're surviving. Okay, so we'll get one more little bit of damage in here. Then we're gonna have to swap as usual. It's kind of unfortunate. Dexter is just not very good until he evolves. So even though we're out leveling things, it's just hard to deal with. Now, in this case, yes, he was weak. You know, he had the type disadvantage, but sometimes even when he has no type disadvantages, it's still hard for him to kill anything. He is awful right now, just being realistic. But once he evolves, he should be pretty good. Downside, he doesn't really evolve until his 40s, I think. So it's going to be a little while. But eventually, eventually he will be awesome. And it looks like this trainer actually has three Pokemon. Okay, they're going for Draining Kiss, which is going to keep healing them. Hopefully this takedown will, well, kill them. 
And we won't have to deal with getting our crud drained too many times right here. Please take them down. Oh my gosh, of course. Now they're going to get some more draining kiss action. Although, here's the thing. Takedown will still kill them. But because they got the draining kiss, I'm going to take more recoil damage when I hit them right here. Not a lot more, but it is still something. Okay, finally that thing's killed. Only level 25. It's kind of ridiculous. Throughout this entire game, I pretty much always had to like run back and heal up between every single battle here. But it looks like Dexter and Dunsparce are both level 29 now. I think we're just going to stay in right here. Out comes the Glass Slug. And, well, you guys have seen me kill these ones many times. This dude just used a takedown on me. Come on, I am the master of takedown. Let me show you how it's done. He did 10 damage to me. Watch this crud. There you go! Almost killing him completely, actually. He's gonna go for an icy wind this time. Let's see if that does more than 10. It does a lot more than 10. He probably should have done that the first time. And now my speed is dropped, so he'll probably go first. No, I still go first. I guess being a, uh, being a slug, he is pretty slow there. But that's only Pokemon number two. They still got one more here for us to deal with. And it is a Luna Pup. Okay, come on! I did Water Pulse and he survived with like one HP. I should, yeah, okay, we do survive the low kick. Of course, I've got psychic type, so I managed to survive that crud. He goes for wide guard, whatever the crud that is. Didn't work out, so we're gonna go ahead and kill him right here, get all the experience on Dexter, and I need to go back and heal again. Pretty much healing between every single battle right here. Oh, crud, guys, I'm running back, and suddenly the egg is actually hatching. Here we go, there it is, it's Noopin. Heck yeah. Well, that's our last team member, guys. That is number six, but I've got to actually give him a name here. Alrighty, guys. Noopin. It rhymes with poopin. Let's go. That's the best name right there. Let's go take a look at his ability and all that kind of crud and his nature and all that. He's going to be level one, of course. Only 12 HP. Let's see. He is a... Uh, I don't know where it says their actual nature, but he's got defense up, speed down. I don't know if that matters, but there you go. He's also got chlorophyll, boost the Pokemon's speed in sunshine. And here we've got tackle and absorb. Alrighty, no electric moves yet, but we'll get there. And just to recap, guys, I'm actually going to get Dunsparce and Dexter up to level 30. And after we do that, then I'm going to go ahead and level up our Bashan. And once we get them to 30, then we'll start focusing on Noopin. At that point, I'll give him the, uh... I'll give him the experience share. Gosh dang, Dexter is just not having good type matchups against much out here. He does have a lot of weaknesses. I think he's got like five or six weaknesses, which is pretty rough, but oh well. Uh, this actually might not be that bad of a battle for Mareep, so you know what? Mareep versus Mareep, let's do it! Ours is level 25, of course, right here, but I think this is going to be a cool battle. Let's check out how it goes. We're going to go for a charge right here. I think that, doesn't that raise their special attack or maybe special defense? I can't remember there. Uh, okay, special defense, which I don't think is going to matter against gosh dang our guy. I'm probably just going to go for Stomp. I'm not sure what my best move is. I should probably look at my moveset here. Stomp looking great, though. Unfortunately, we do get hit by static, but that was some great damage. They go for a takedown. I don't see that doing too much. Nope, only does 14 damage. We'll go for another Stomp, get this guy taken down. He's going to go for Electro Ball, unless I get stuck in Paralysis over and over. We should be fine. Okay, well, never mind. I'm dead. I have to swap. I'm sorry, guys. My Mareep was just not as good. I feel like that's kind of been a running theme throughout this playthrough. There's just things that should not... I should not be having trouble with at all. Things that are lower level than me. And all this crud. And I'm just getting destroyed. I don't know why that is. It doesn't really happen to me in other Pokemon games. But for some reason in this fan game here... Man, I'm just getting destroyed by everything. I mean, of course I'm winning. But, man, I'm just taking so much damage all the time. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if the AI in this game is just more likely to actually do stuff that hurts you. I don't know. I really don't know what what's up with that. But, oh well. We also got paralyzed here, which is fantastic. I'm going to go for a second takedown. Hopefully get them taken. Gosh dang it. I got to stop saying that. Hopefully get them taken down. Yes. They're going to go for a thunder shock, which shouldn't hurt too bad here. Well, it hurts actually a little bit. But with this takedown... We'll be fine. So the battle's over. I'm gonna have to go heal again, but first let's check out his dialogue here. Get that experience. Farmer Slim, guess you wasn't a rustler anywho. I'm a little bit north of where we just were, and I'm gonna go over to the left this time just to see what's over here, to see if there's anything different. It looks like this loops back to the same place where we were before. Now let's keep looking. So we go out of the grass right here, and yes, so there's the trainer we fought, and here's a different staircase and I think a different trainer. Let's see. I find weird stuff in my crops all the time. Is there somebody leaving it in there? We've got a little farm we can go and explore, a crop, I guess. Let me check out this path first, but we'll definitely check out that crop. So we've got a guy right here to fight, 
And it looks like he's gonna be another one of these karate guys, so maybe this will be a good battle for Dexter here. Although, I just was in a battle with the random uh, Ekans, and he did a little bit of damage to me. And unfortunately, of course, it's gonna be boss shop dark and fighting, so even though my guy who's meant to deal with fighting, not gonna do so well here. Once we get a gosh dang, uh, once Lord Dunsparce evolves and he's a flying type, then it'll be fantastic, but I guess for now we're gonna have to go with Bulbasaur here. Yeah, it's just rough, but he's gonna go for beat up. Does a little bit, nine damage, okay. This is his only Pokemon though. It is level 28, but it should be some great experience. And we get a magnitude 10, 150 power, same type of attack bonus, and that is a one shot. Magnitude 10 is insanely good. There we go, take that black belt, Bill. And with that, let's go search down to the south a little bit here. We've got another trainer and a ball to grab right here with TM9, Bullet Seed. We could teach that to Noopin, dude. Awesome. Let's see. Here's another little path for the crop. Oh, can we, do we go through it? Oh, it's just an actual crop. Okay, I thought it was going to like take us to a different zone, but here we've got a super potion, and let's go talk to her. I think that's a trainer. Let's go talk to her at least. I found you. Oh, it is a trainer. Okay, cool. So let's go see if we can whoop some butt here. We've got school kid Amy sending out a cottony. There is just so much stuff in this area that is so bad for Dexter. He just, oh man, his type, just so many weaknesses and there's just a lot of them in this area here. But Dunsparce has got this crud, we're fine. Oh my gosh, she has four Pokemon. She's got Razor Leaf right here. She is going to be faster, but that's gonna hurt a little bit. But the thing is, Dunsparce is a lot easier to deal with because I can just heal myself with Roost. I do have Super Potions and I could use those, but I find myself not having the best luck. If I start trying to use Super Potions a lot, usually I find myself like taking the damage that I healed in the same battle, which is kind of annoying. But, yeah, well, let's go ahead and uh, do takedown again. I don't know why she swapped right there, but it looks like we're just going to go first this time. Take that one down before it can even hurt me. Aside from the recoil, of course we took the recoil damage, but... Aside from that, man, we just totally wrecked that crud. Next up is going to be a Folorog, which would be great for Dexter. He's only got 36 HP, so he probably is going to die, but I do have a revive. I can bring him back if I need to. We're just about to get level 30 right here. But, again, I don't think he evolves until, until the 40s, so it's going to be a while before he's actually really good. And he's always going to have the issue of being super slow. So let's hope he can survive just one attack. We got the confusion even. So for a while I thought that Psybeam had a chance to uh, lower a stat. Turns out it's just another confusion. So basically Psybeam and Water Pulse are very similar moves here. Well, let's go for another one. And that should take this guy down. There we go, finally killing a Pokemon on our own here. And that will definitely be level 30. Heck yeah! Do we get any new moves or anything like that? We do not, unfortunately, but that's fine. It's time to get Lord Dunsparce up to 30 as well. And after this battle, I think I'm going to move that experience share over to Mareep. And then we can try to get them up to 30 as well. Um, because I think, I think they might evolve into Boss Shop after just one level, actually. I should probably go check and see if I've actually got any rare candies. I don't know if I do, but if I do, that might be able to evolve them right away. So I'll definitely check that crud out. Let's get this Cottony defeated. I think she had one more. This might be it, actually. Let's see. Uh, no, she's got another Folarog. I guess we'll use Dexter once again for that. I mean, even though they're already level 30, I am still gonna have to get them more experience, so once once everyone's level 30, it kind of makes sense just just use his good in the battle, you know? So let's just go for another side beam. You guys have seen this battle, we'll be fine. Never mind, I'll get hit by a sledge, almost die, and then get poisoned in the process. So yeah, I'm probably dead here. Ooh, or I'll get a critical, heck yeah, saving the day. Thank you, good luck. And there we go, almost halfway to 31 as well. I only wanted to play hide and seek. Well. With that out of the way, let me go and take the thing off of the thing and put it on the thing. And by that I mean give the experience share to Marie, which is fantastic because now I can give the Miracle Water to Dexter, or Mystic Water, whatever it's called. And now I know, guys, I kept saying that I had the Mystic Water on Dexter when I had the experience share on him. I know, I say some really dumb things sometimes, so uh, just ignore that I said that, crud. By the way, I did check, and I don't think I have any rare candies. With that, I guess let's keep going to the south here. This is pretty much where all the paths lead to, so we got another trainer here, a branching path there. So we can either go south, which looks like there's a ball down there. Gosh, this place is so boring! It's just wheat and stuff. I can't wait to leave. Gosh dang, why do you gotta be all negative pants up in here? Well, we're gonna defeat Picnicker. Fire! Picnic Fa sends out Arbok. Of course, right after switching out from my psychic type, we get an Arbok. Oh well. I think Takedown will do just fine against this guy, anyways. We're five levels above the dude. 
we should have no problems taking this guy down. She does have four Pokemon. I don't know what's up with these trainers having lots of Pokemon right now, but that's okay. We'll deal with them, and it'll be good experience for Marine now that they've got the experience share. And it looks like we're going to have to do two takedowns. We might not kill them with one more, but I'm really hoping we will. Okay, they do have Crunch, so maybe it wouldn't have been a good battle for Dexter anyways, because they probably would have got one shot by that crud. And unfortunately, we do have to do one more attack here. And knowing my luck, we'll probably miss this one. We'll probably miss it, and then they'll poison me next turn or something. No, we actually got it. Cool. Took a lot of damage in the process, but hey, we got him. Next up is going to be a Shouten. I don't even remember what type that is. Uh, I think it's flying, so I think I'm going to stick in right here, go for some Ancient Power. Actually, Takedown's probably better, but I don't want to take the recoil right now. They're going to go for Quick Attack. That shouldn't do too much. And it does a little bit more than I would have liked, so I think I'm going to have to use a Roost right here. But this should do a good chunk of damage. does a little bit more than half, but I'm still going to go for that Roost. And unfortunately, they killed me. Crud. You know what? No, never mind. I was going to say, let's give it a chance with Marie, but they might have a flying attack, so that'd probably be a terrible idea. You know, forget it. We're going to try. I know, I know. I constantly do bad type matchups, but whatever. They're going to go for wing attack. Probably going to one-shot me, but if it doesn't, I'll be able to hit him. And it one-shots me. Cool. I mean, we all saw that coming, of course. It's just kind of one of those things. It doesn't really matter if I die, because I'm going back to heal between every single battle anyways. I mean, sure, now Marie's going to miss on a little experience, but overall, that is experience doesn't get lost. It just goes to different Pokemon, so the experience still goes to my team either way. It's a Kinect Monk! Heck yeah! Magnitude 10 once again! Have I gone up here? Yes, we went from there. Okay, I think there's still the ball down here. Yeah, let's go grab that. East to Vinoveal Town. So there's the next town with the next badge, but there's still more to do on the route here, guys. So we're not done quite yet. We've got that path down there and this one up here. Let's check this one out first. And it looks like another ball and another field as well. Here we've got a full heal. And let's check out this field, see if there's any more trainers hiding inside. What the? Whoa, I found a quick claw just chilling right there. What the crud? Well, how about that? I don't really feel like searching these fields for more items, but hey, I'll take a quick claw, sure. Okay, let's keep exploring. Let's go to the right this time. And it doesn't look like there's anything up there, aside from a patch of water, of course. Let's check it out. And yes, indeed, it looks pretty barren. I don't think there's anything really up there. There's another house here. I guess we'll check that card out. Here we get TM44 Rest. Awesome. Uh, okay, the south path just looks like it goes to the same place. Let me go ahead and fight this trainer, and then we'll check out that house. Okay, anything else down here? It looks like there's a little bit more. I don't know where this is going to lead to. Uh, can this guy tell me? This route is a nature preserve. Trainers aren't allowed to catch Pokemon here unless they have a Chief Ranger authorization. Huh, I wonder if it's like a safari zone or some crud. But all right, so we can't really go down there for now. So let's just go talk to this guy and then we'll go to that little house. Hey buddy, how's it going? Bug Pokemon are the most diverse type. They got the biggest move pool. Did they, did they really? I haven't actually looked into things like that, but if you guys could go below and uh, archive all the different types and how many moves there are of each individual type and we'll figure out who's the best in that regard. Uh, I guess because he's part uh, fire will go for ancient power. Might still be better to go for takedown because of the same type attack bonus, but it's not gonna matter too much. All right, that guy is destroyed already, and as usual, getting the stat bonuses when we don't really need it. But this one might be enough for me to level up right here. It'd actually be really cool if Mareep would level up as well, actually. This actually probably won't be quite enough, no. And not even Mareep leveled off, off that one, gosh dang. Well, yeah, let's go check out the house then, at least. Oh, crud. Let's go check out the house! Let's go inside and see what is in here. Sure. Uh, looks like it's just a random lady. Zzz, I'm so tired, I don't want to talk right now. Come back later, Zzz. Okay, so this is something a lot of you have told me about. We actually genuinely do have to come back later. And what that means is basically set the game to nighttime and come back in at nighttime. So let me go change my system clock to night. We'll go back inside and see if we can do some crud here. Okie dokie, I've set my game to 9 o'clock. As you can see, it is now nighttime. Let's go inside and talk again. Uh, she's not in bed yet. Oh, you're a trainer, aren't you? Listen, are you interested in mysteries? I need some help, and I need a trainer to do it. Um, wh what do you mean, do it? Uh... I don't know. I think it's just a side quest, guys. My name's Ripley. My grandfather owns all of the fields you see around you, but he's traveling abroad and left me to manage the farm. Lately, though, we've been having strange phenomena. 
I'll fall asleep at night, and when I go out to check the fields in the morning, half my crops are bent over! Not only that, but seen from above, they're in all sorts of weird shapes and patterns. I can't figure it out at all. I think it might be ALIENS! I've tried staying up at night to catch them in the act, but I keep falling asleep. I know there's something out there. Whatever it is, it moves too fast for me to get a good picture. So that's where I need your help. I need you to sneak through the fields and find the source of the crop circles. Wow, I guess I was right about the crop circles. I always see a bright light on the other side of the lake, so maybe that's where they're coming from. Be careful not to let them see you, though. Alright, I guess we'll go give it a shot. Oh! Yes, indeed, that looks like an alien. So I guess we have to not be spotted? It's kind of weird, I would actually like to catch them here. Uh, is that a Pokemon? Oh, you've been spotted! Um, and that makes them vanish! Uh, better try again. Okay, so we do have to stealth, and, uh, if we get spotted, that makes things disappear here. Oh, what is that? Oh, crud, they're in the grass as well. Gosh dang it, guys, I'm so bad at stealthing. Okay, what if I just go straight down, just like that? Boom, so easy! I just gotta find where the other side of the lake is. I think we just have to not get in their direct, uh, line of sight. Oh, crud. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying! I made it past that bit, at least. Uh, here we go! Oh my gosh, look at that guy! Now that is what I call an alien. That looks like it's their leader. It's... seems... it seems to be giving them orders. I think that's a typo. You've been spotted, but it doesn't look like it's going to flee. Well, I think it might be time for a battle, because it is attacking! Here we go, guys! Look at this crud, S51A. Go, Lord Dunsparce! I guess I'm gonna try to catch this guy. It's level 30, gosh dang, 5, though. I don't know what type it is. Um, I mean, just looking at it, I'm gonna guess it's a steel type. It's going for hidden power, and it hurts a little bit. Let's try this out here. And it's not very effective. That kind of further confirms my idea that it might be a steel type, and I would go use Mareep and try to do revenge on it, but, well, I don't think that would work out so well, because he'll probably just die. So let's try Trevor. We'll go for a Dragon Claw, maybe, see if that works. I probably could have done Ember as well. Maybe that would have worked, too. Looks like he's going to go for Iron Defense. That is going to make him very hard to kill, even though even though we're going to go for some strong attacks here every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go for a Dragon Claw and see how our damage is here. That's also not very effective. What the crud? All right, I'm just gonna try going for Ember instead. I don't wanna kill the thing. That's why I'm afraid to use fire attacks, but man, it's gonna take a long time to damage this guy with anything else. So we'll give it a shot. He's going for more iron defense right here, but that won't affect Ember at least. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way for flame wheel. Actually, flame wheel will probably do less because it's physical attack, but let's try Ember. Let's see if it'll do just enough. Don't kill the guy. And, okay, just a little chunk there, that's good. I think we can actually go for another one. He's going for a beam attack right here. Acquired simple, what a, what the card is that? Well, as long as we don't critical, do not get a critical right now. And looking good. I think I can hit him with a couple of scratches just to get him down a little bit lower right here. He's got the resistance to normal attacks and he's also got two iron defenses on. So this is probably like one damage. Uh, yeah, this might take a while. Okay, he's going for even more iron defense. Although, I don't think you can drop damage below one. So since I'm probably already doing just one damage, that doesn't really matter too much. I just want to get him as low as possible. There we got a critical! Heck yeah! I'm gonna go for more scratch, guys, because I think that he can survive another critical. Of course, the critical will get around those iron defenses, but he still has that steel typing. Uh, man, at this point, it might be a little bit dangerous. We might kill him with a critical. So let's go to the bag. We don't have that many balls left. I've got five Great Balls and one Ultra Ball. Let's try the Great Ball right here and see what happens. S51A! See if we can get this little crutter. And it pops right back out. Oh, for some reason this Pokemon... Pokemon? This Pokemon can't be caught. Okay, so we actually can't catch this one, guys. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and kill it then. Man, imagine how much that would suck if you gosh dang had like a Master Ball. I don't think you can get that at this point in the game, but if you could, that would be a sucky place to use it. But alright, Bulbasaur is level 31 after that and trying to learn Slash. Awesome! You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of Scratch. I'm still waiting to get a good fire move. Hopefully we'll get Flamethrower at some point. But Slash is gonna be awesome. This S51A Zim. Oh, jeez. Oh, here comes Ripley. Ripley, so that's what was causing it, huh? A Pokemon. But that doesn't explain why it was attacking. It's easy, really. Oh, who the crud is that? It's because I was bored! Ripley, is this your Pokemon? Who are you? You've lived here your whole life, Ripley. Shouldn't you know me by now? 
Sheldon, I can't believe you're doing this again. <laughs> Isn't it obvious this town sucks? Everybody's so content with their boring little lives. They don't know what real excitement is. If I have to stay holed up in that gym for much longer, I'll die. I don't think it's very funny, and you shouldn't take it out on my granddad's farm. Well, that just goes to show you country people have no sense of humor. Now, I know you're a lousy trainer, so it can't have been you that defeated S-51A. So then who? Was it this kid? Psycho. Psycho? Hmm, you must be a good trainer. S-51A is my strongest Pokemon. I don't even use her to fight challengers at my gym. You're in the area, so I assume you must be here to challenge my gym, right? I'm looking forward to it. Oh, this might be the fourth gym leader. All right. Well... We got that crud taken care of. Sigh, he always does this. He doesn't make it secret that he hates this whole town, but he's stuck here out of obligation to his family. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Anyway, thanks for helping. I get it now. He had his Pokemon Order of the Wild S51 around. You did manage to catch one, didn't you? I hear they're pretty rare. If you didn't catch any, I managed to get one, but I'm not really much of a trainer, so would you like it? Heck yeah, did we get one? Oh, crud yeah! We got an S51. Look at this little guy. i just gonna name him Jelly. He kinda looks like a little jelly blob on top of a plate with legs or some crud. There we go, we're sort in box two. Now that I believe is a steel and psychic type, so that is definitely one of your options if you want a steel type to deal with nuclear Pokemon. But with that, guys, we're pretty much done with Route 8. Oh my gosh, and I just found the 1% rare Flappy. Holy crud. Alrighty, guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll come back next time, go into Vinneville Town, and see if we can get that fourth badge. I'll see you guys then. Take care.